Seeming attention will make you a golden child, man. It's the most powerful energy that you have. It's your sacred energy. It's so powerful that I can create another human being, man. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Stay Well Conversations. Yes, sir. Energy. Now, before I get started, though, make sure to beg your algorithm by smashing that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Join. The, feel free to join the uh, Discord group. Like my people down to become better. Do you understand? All positivity and uh, check out my uh, Patreon. Do you understand me? It's all. It's all help. All to help you get better mentally, physically, spiritually. All of that good stuff, man. Do you understand? So and so. Let's get into the video, though. So why why seem attention? Seem attention will make you a golden child. First of all, is self control. That's what Simon Tender teaches you is self-control. Control over your sexual urges. Do you understand me? So, for example, you wake up in the morning. Every man experiences this. It's you wake up and you've got a uh, morning wood. Do you understand me? You're, you're saying to you, your size is right, right up here. Do you understand me? And um, what you call it? You've got two options. You can either... You can either go and... You can either blow your seed away, sit in the corner like a little boy, blow your seed away, or you can... Or you can go to the gym... And go and lift weights and that, you know what I'm saying? To go and lift, push yourself harder now, one more rep, one more set. You can do that and then, what you call it, you're going to feel amazing, you got a lot of enthusiasm, you feel accomplished. Do you understand me? That's, that's, that's what you, that, that is what you can do. Do you understand me? You're either going to go left, which you're going uh, which you're going to destroy you slowly, or you can go right and go to the self improvement route and get better. And build your physique, build your mental strength, physical physique. Do you understand me? And you look great. And with all the gains, just I'm saying to you, that's a choice you have on that. So, it will control your sexual urges and you direct that energy towards something purposeful, meaningful. Do you understand? Not, not a vice, a vice versa. Because if you indulge in short-term pleasure, then you can suffer long-term. You know what I'm saying? You can suffer long-term, man. That's the, that's the reality of it, man. You know what I'm saying to you? So, and if, you're, if you're able to control your sexual urges, then you can ab you're, you're able, you're capable of mastering anything else. But first of all, always mastering that little head. You, mean the, you being the authority, you giving a command. You say no. Be, you being strong enough to say no and that. When you strong enough to say no, despite all the disasters, disasters in your face, you're, you have then, uh, you've got then, you've gained self-control. So number two is, number two is um, what you call it. You, are, you have to differentiate, you, you, you are, you're, you're able to differentiate from your logic and from your, um, what you call it, from your logic, from your emotion. You understand me? So it's correlated with this, the last point. But I want to dive, uh, this is, uh, I'm taking a different angle with this one. So your logic is that you know you have an urge, you when know, you got such an urge in that, and I'm saying you feel like cool, you want to smash, you want to you blow her back out. You understand me? That's what you feel like doing in that. But then that is your little head, little head doing the talking for you. But if you, um, if you use your logic now, if you use your logic now, say, yo, I feel. You know, say I feel aggressive, I feel horny. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go what and go and put that horniness and aggressiveness into the gym, into combat sport, into running. Then you feel amazing, feel accomplished. And you'd be so glad that you did it, that you didn't go for the easy routes. Do you understand me? Why are you gonna be suffering in that? Do you understand? So always that be a logic of emotion. Another example. You're on um, you're, you're boredom. You can easily go and smoke weed, eat junk food, bitch watch Netflix, or you can that's what your emotion wants to do. But then then you say your logic, do you understand me? Your, your, your logic step in, you're like, you know what? I'm bored now, I'm gonna go work on myself mentally, physically, spiritually. And then now you're progressing and you feel good in that. At the beginning, is this the the the, the the what it is is the battle. The battle is before the actual act, the battle. You know what I'm saying? They're about to go to the gym, but you're coming to where you go to the gym or not, you're tired, whatever, whatever. But you go anyway, and once you're in that gym, you live that way, that's it. You've overcome, you've overcome the challenge now. Do you understand me? And they can do your workout, and you, and you feel amazing. It's just the, the battle is before. Do you understand? Know the battle is before. But once you're in there, that's it. Do you understand know what I'm saying to you? So, that's with any act, whether it's cold showers. Do you understand know me? You feel like, oh, I, I, you rather feel be warm and cozy. They say, you know what? It's only brief. It's only for a few seconds. Once you turn that tap on and hits you, you feel that uh, you feel the pain. Then that's it. Then your body adapts, and that's it. It's over. Just that few seconds. That's why you go in there, but procrastinating. But the, the procrastination is holding you back. But once you 
go and do it regardless of how you feel. That's when you lose your logic. Then that's it. You overcome. You overcome the battle. You understand? Um, you you are doing God's work in that because you are spiritually you're clean, physically spiritually you are clean in that. You understand me? Because you haven't blown your seed away. You're saying to you recklessly, it's not you're not reproducing. So if you're not reproducing, then clearly it's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. Do you understand me? Which you can put somewhere else into mental, physical, spiritual. You know what I'm saying to you? So um, you're doing God's work because you you are clean. You know what I'm saying to you? Spiritually, spiritually, physically, you are clean in that. You know what I'm saying to you? And God, God, want, God even wants us to reproduce. We we'll start by it's a, in our biological makeup, or we can go and uh, we can put the energy somewhere else. Purpose for going to a gym, working out, um, reading. You have to go out and learn the new skills. We can even do that. So we got we've got a choice to make. Do you understand me? Make the right choice because your cho your the choice that you make every day is determined what life are you going to live tomorrow. You are doing it for your future self. Do you understand me? And to create the to create your future self that you can be proud of, it all starts today. Self-discipline, that's a key element for a masculine man is to be self-disciplined. Do you understand me? Discipline to go, uh, discipline to, you see all distractions, boredom, uh, maybe social media, whether it's um, a woman, any distraction in your way and that, you're able to, you know, you say, strong enough, strong enough to say no, I will carry on persevering, persistent, I'm going and work on myself mentally, reading, acquiring skills physically, going to the gym and working out. Just spiritually, go uh, learn more about by your religion or whatever belief that you have in that. Go and learn more about that. Tap into that. When you do that, bro, when you do that, you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel accomplished. You, you, you'll, you'll be, you're so glad that you, uh, that you did it. So self-discipline in that. You know what I'm saying? And doing things, doing things, fulfilling your duty, your duty as a man, regardless of how you feel in that. That's the key in that. You know what I'm saying? To self-discipline. Next thing is that you are, um, what do you call it? You, you, you'll be seen as a, of, a, of weird. You know what I'm saying? They're going to see you as your weird. And you're see, they're going to see you as your outcast because you are doing something that most people are not doing, most men are doing. So therefore, you are ahead of 90% of men out there, even more so. Because most men are falling, blown, they're seeing all the type of women that watch them dirty sides, blown, give their energy to this woman, that woman. You know? So that is a losing, that is a loser right there. You understand me? Because you are a winner, you are special, you are one of a kind, and you retain your seed, and you work, you you work on improving yourself. You put your purpose first before anything else. You put your purpose first and put the time and energy, the consistency into it. You understand me? Well, most men define as winning. That's why you got you've got you've got to touch your blow your seed away, man. I'm saying to do it, blow your seed away in the socks, flipping a blow it to a woman. Go and do that, man. You know what I'm saying to put it all over her face, all over her body, do that. Yeah, that's what most men do in that. And that's why they can't progress in that. They got no energy, no drive, no motivation, feel lazy, they're procrastinating. But you are different, you're a different breed. Because you are you uh you are um what you call it, you are doing what most men are doing, which is retaining their sexual energy. The most powerful thing on earth to create, to create and manifest what you want. You know what I'm saying to you? For what for uh, wealth, everything and that. You know what I'm saying? So it's very, very powerful. The next the, the and then my last point oh, is that you avoided the chaps of the matrix, do you understand me? Which is, or uh, which is a way you call it, it's, it all test your, uh, test your sexual energy, whether it's a um, uh, way you call it, your, um, your woman, because you can be, you can do some attention while of course you're a woman, but it makes it more challenging, because it's right next to when you, the time if you're horny, and uh, if you're horny aggressive, you, you, it's, it's just next to where you, you sleep, you, um, you sleep every day in the same room, you feel like you, know, you wanna lay it off, Yes, but that's another challenge, and you know I'm saying to you, that's an extra challenge. Uh, but it's it's definitely most definitely doable. So that's one that's one thing, and you know I'm saying to you. All the all the all the, um, all the uh, what you call it, the uh, the such as out there, you know, so through your social media, through the music videos, and that you, know, you see through or you see through the bullshit, you see through you you are you you're conscious and aware of. Uh, what that is that you're that's in front of you and that you know what I'm saying so you're gonna be you know me you're gonna be strong enough to say no even though it's so bad your ego you know so your lower self wants to uh, go indulge in that and say no keep it in check you know so we are progressing we are self improving we are improving mentally physically 
Do you understand? So that's avoid them, avoid the traps of the matrix and that. So and that's why you are a golden child, man. So if you got anything value from, from this video, then make sure to smash that like button and share. Come on, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.